Bert Hooper of Salvo talks about crossing Oregon Inlet by ferry. Mr. Hooper was interviewed by Barbara Garrity Blake in 2003 for the Cape Hatteras National Seashore Ethnohistory Project. The Outer Banks Community Foundation provided funds to digitize the original recording. And how'd y'all get off this island before that bridge? Well, we went on a state ferry, and before that we went on Toby's ferry. Toby had a ferry run across that. Yeah. Toby Taylor. Yeah. And so after that, it was a state ferry for a while? Mm -hmm. oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it was for a while until they built the bridge. I think they finished the bridge in 63, I think they finished 63. the bridge. Yeah. Did, did you ever ride Toby Tillett's ferry? Oh, yeah. I did when I was young. What was the difference between a private ferry like that and then the state ferry? Well, you paid so much to go across, I think. And it was a little wooden ferry. It only take about four cars. Oh. I think it was four cars. Uh-huh. And he had a regular schedule? No, I think he... At that time, I think... Somebody stayed on one side, one the other, and when, when somebody wanted to go across, they'd raise a flag and they'd take binoculars and look and see the flag up, and then they'd come across. I think, I think that's how they operated. Oh, okay. You could see the other side. Oh yeah, it was narrow then. It's not been like it now, like it's always been.